Hey, what's up, broskies? It's Sona. Ho, 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 ho. And I hope you're in the holiday spirits because today I'm going to be turning classic Christmas characters Terrifying. Merry Christmas. Oh, please. Ho, ho, ho. I am a family. Shut up! First up, we're doing Santa Claus. Everyone knows Santa. He is the big man in the red suit that delivers presents on Christmas Eve to good kids around the globe. And if you're a bad kid, then he's just gonna give you a sock full of coal. And I guess you could say I am very swag because I have never received coal in my whole life. Though, if I do remember correctly, I think I ate the cookies that I left out for Santa at one point, but let's not talk about that. So yeah, he's a jolly dude who lives in the North Pole and he has a workshop full of elves that make toys for him and then he just delivers them to kids and stuff. There's a few different different versions of him like for example this is the version that most people know about there's also versions of him from like movies and stuff like uh christmas chronicles i've never watched those before but he is also known by a few other names like uh father christmas i've never heard that one before another common one is a uh, chris kringle who is also a character in the movie santa claus is coming to town i think i've actually seen this on tv when i was little but it was such a long time ago that i hardly remember like anything that happens all i know is that the animation is really cute i just remember being completely mortified by Santa. I was scared of him and I did not want to go near him. He scared me. I don't know why. Anyways, here we have jolly old Santa Claus and we're gonna make him not so jolly. We're gonna make him, um, depressed. Wait, no, is that the right word? Uh, I mean creepy. Yes, yes, uh, that's the theme of this video. Some of you may mention this. Yes, I have heard of the Christmas movie thingy called Krampus with, like, the evil Santa Claus or whatever. Have I seen it? No, but I've heard of it. My version of Santa is not gonna be this, okay? My concept for my Santa design is that he's this really worn out creature whose body is slowly collapsing and he's just grown really tired of delivering presents every year working really hard because Santa is seen as this amazing man who is magical and can fly a sleigh and do all this great stuff but you know even for someone like Santa you can only keep up with it for so long he's been doing this for such a long time now he's really old and from using his Christmas magic all the time the human like side of him is just slowly withering away and he's just becoming this weird sad and depressed creature, honestly. He has essentially used so much of his Christmas magic throughout the years that he's not the same Santa that he used to be. As you can see in my version, Santa doesn't really have a face. His white beard has kind of just taken over his whole head and that's all you see. Since the saying goes that he sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, he is able to see literally everything that every kid is doing. I put a bunch of eyeballs scattered throughout his beard to kind of emphasize on that. His magical globe stopped working so he has to use all of these eyeballs now. This wasn't intentional, but his beard kind of looks like this kraken uh, sea creature type thing. Again, I wasn't going for that, but you know, looks cool. Since Santa is always going down through a chimney to get into people's houses because, you know, he just doesn't randomly have a house key. Over the years, his body has been heavily affected by this, especially the lower part. And yes, I mean the legs, you weirdos. Santa's a pretty big boy, so he kind of struggles when he goes down that chimney. So I made a concept that each year he goes through the chimney, it crushes his lower part of his body more and more to the point where it's just really deformed. His legs and torso are much smaller than his upper half because they've been crushed so much by the chimneys. Sometimes he even gets stuck in the chimney for several hours. Since he's kind of embarrassed with how his body has become, he wears a bigger cloak and it covers his entire lower half so that no one can see it. And at times, unfortunately, the fireplace is still burning. So I made the tips of his beard look burnt and black to represent that as well. This man has really been through a lot. Wow, I'm a terrible person person. Please don't give me a cold this year, Santa. His hands are really huge and have claws because, you know, Santa Claus, get it. <laughs> I'm so funny. No, I'm not. He's really old and he's been doing this job for a very long time, so his Christmas hat is very torn and just worn out. It's completely shredded and it reaches all the way down to the floor. The start of the hat actually also has frostbite to represent that it's just stuck to his head because he never takes it off. And last but not least, I made Santa holding this big, big bag of cookies from all the cookies that he's gotten from kids. I guess that's the one wholesome thing about this drawing. Too bad he can't eat them because he doesn't have a mouth. I am so, so proud of this drawing. I love this version of Santa Claus that I created. I think it turned out super, super cool, honestly. It's like probably one of my favorite drawings that I've made, actually. Well, if you were ever wondering why Santa doesn't show himself, now you know.
Next up, I am drawing my version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which is also the title of the movie. This is one of, if not the most classic Christmas films of all time. I remember back when we had cable TV when I was younger, I would watch this every time it came on the TV, every single year for Christmas. So needless to say, I've seen this movie many times. My boyfriend Gabe, he told me he has never seen this movie before. Can you believe that? Who hasn't seen Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Guys, seriously, go tell Gabe to watch this movie in the comments. I do kind of understand that some of my viewers who are on the younger side haven't seen this movie, but if you haven't, you totally should. The basics of the movie is that Rudolph is this red-nosed reindeer, obviously, who throughout the movie is bullied and treated poorly literally just because he has a shiny red nose. Like what? They're jealous, bro. He's got drip. But thankfully, later on in the movie, they recognize that he's not so bad and that he's actually useful because they make him guide Santa's sleigh at nighttime to light up the sky and stuff so, you know, he doesn't crash. I love the classic feel of this movie and I really love the clay animation they use. It's so cute. It has a very nice charm to it, and I might watch it again this year because it's been a little while since I've seen it. Since it's obviously the most defining feature about him, my concept is revolving around his red nose. Since Rudolph's nose is red and it's also lit up, it kind of reminds me of heat. Red is one of the main colors that is associated with heat, and then light can also be associated with heat, so it makes sense. Anyways, my point is, I wanted to make his nose very, very hot. N no, not in that way. No, that's weird. Hot as in burning hot. Literal burning. My version of Rudolph is is that his nose is so, so hot that it is literally heating up his entire body to the point where it's melting. His I'm face dying. is literally melting and me. he's just in a lot of pain. I made his nose set on fire and some of his cheek is even fully melted away on the side. And it took me a little while to figure out how to make this look right because I was struggling with the colors, but I made all of the veins throughout his body glowing red and you can see them through the fur because that's just how hot it is and it's heating up his whole body so he's really, really hot. Even his eyes are glowing glowing red, which I think looks really cool. Uh, as you can see on the side, I did have to use a reference for this, because for those of you who actually watch my channel regularly, you know that I don't really draw animals, like ever. I just draw humans and stuff, maybe sometimes weird creatures, but mainly humanoid things. The reference definitely helped a crap ton, so thanks to whoever drew this. I'll put credits on the screen. There's also actually lore behind my concept. My lore for this idea is that, that he eventually became so enraged by his bullies and the people that mistreated him that he lost control control of the powers from his glowing nose and he just became this enraged and flamed demon reindeer. I know that probably sounds a little bit like a Wattpad OC, but you know what? I still think my idea is really cool and I think it fits pretty well. Should have mentioned this earlier, but I made his fur a little bit darker so that the red glowing veins could show up a little bit better. And I think it looks cooler anyway. So yeah, this is my idea for this cursed Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer, I guess you could call it. I'm pretty proud of this one, especially considering that I don't draw reindeer like literally ever. I think it's a really good job and he's super cool. And lastly, I'm actually doing yet another character from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because there's a lot of characters in this movie and a lot of them are really, really cool. And the one that I chose is Hermie the Elf. I, I think that's how you say his name. Hermie? Hear me? I, I don't know. Hermie's one of the elves in this movie and, you know, he's at Santa's workshop making toys and stuff just like all the other elves are supposed to do. But he's very different from the other elves because, first off, he's shown to be really, really terrible at making toys. And not only that, but the thing with Hermie is he actually doesn't even want to be an elf making toys. He wants to be a dentist. Really interesting job choice. I've never in my life heard anyone say they want to be a dentist, so that's cool. In the movie, he's often caught reading dentist books and stuff while he's supposed to be making toys and he gets scolded for it. And naturally, all the other elves think it's weird that he doesn't want to be making toys. But one thing I never even noticed until literally just now is that unlike every other elf in the workshop, his ears look normal and not pointy. I mean, yeah, they're huge, but they don't look like elf ears. So that got me thinking, is he actually an elf? I have no idea, but that may contribute to the reason why he's so bad at making toys in the first place. Just picked a random kid off the street and they were like, oh yeah, you're short, you're coming with us, buddy. After all, Hermie and Rudolph are kind of in the same boat because they both get picked on for being different, so they do bond through it and become homies. I just gotta say, I think Hermie is the cutest character in this whole movie. I love his design and the way he looks. He's just so adorable. And that is why I chose him for this video. Okay, listen, all right, a lot of people already really hate going to the dentist, including myself. 
I recently just got through some serious tooth pain. So some of you may already view dentists as scary people. So if you already have a phobia of the dentist, well, I'm about to make it worse. The fact that Hermie wanted to become a dentist gave me an idea for this right off the bat. My idea for Hermie is that he grew tired of always being bashed on for wanting to be a dentist and not being good at making toys. So he took matters into his own hands and he quote unquote got rid of everyone who mistreated him and finally fulfilled his dreams of becoming a dentist, but he's not exactly a normal dentist. He's kind of crazy in the head as you can see. Oh, I'm sure no dentist place would actually allow this man to work there. So he's not a certified dentist, but he likes to pretend that he is. And for all the people who he got rid of, he actually collected their teeth and he wears them as his own. Hence to why all the teeth that you see in his mouth are all different shapes and they're crooked and they just don't look right. In Hermes' original design, he has this really, really tiny mouth. But when he collects everyone's teeth and puts them into his gums, it stretches out his mouth so, so wide that it tears the corners of his lips. And that's why his smile is so big. It's because, you know, he's not supposed to be able to fit all of those big teeth in his mouth. I drew him as if he's just staring into the viewer's soul, saying that you're next, with these just really wide open eyeballs. I made some changes to his hair by making it swoop and kind of curl at the end. I think it adds more to it and it looks cool. His body looks mostly the same, but as you can see, I made his kneecaps very defined. Adds a little bit of weirdness to it. Oh, and uh, on top of that, I made his feet very, very long. A lot of elf shoes look longer than they should in my opinion. So I really exaggerated it. I made his ears even bigger than they were before to the point where they're too heavy and they're kind of like drooping. At some point in the movie, Hermie can also be seen holding this dentist tool clamp thing. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's used to pull out teeth. So he's holding a big one of those along with some teeth and blood scattered on the floor. Since Hermie's boss was so, so mean to him and yelling at him all the time, I made him make this kind of voodoo doll type version of his boss and its mouth is filled with his bosses as well as other people's teeth and it just looks really gross. This one honestly looks really freaky, but I'm also very proud of it. And I actually think this one ended up looking more disturbing than I anticipated, so that's cool. So just remember, even if you hate going to the dentist, at least your dentist isn't like this. Or at least I hope they aren't. Broskies enjoyed this uh, scary Christmas video and please let me know your favorite that I did in the comments. More than likely, I will be doing this again next year, so let me know what characters I should do next. Thank you Broskies so much for watching and with that I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye! Merry Christmas.